You don't want to come up too quickly, but the shorter runner can get up vertical and running more quickly than the taller runner. And yes, it's usually from 60 meters on outdoors that the taller runners can catch up. So we'll know in this race, I think, 20 or 30 meters into the race, who is going to win, because it really will come down to the start. And you can reality, you can watch the red. Ben Johnson in red from Canada's in lane three. Mark Witherspoon in red, the United States is in four. Lee McCray, the United States is in red, is in six. So three, four, and six are the lanes to watch. just a little kind of a, a lean, and it was Lee McCray who had a little shoulder shrug. And they brought everybody up. There was no false start call. Haas, Ulo, Johnson, Witherspoon, Pavoni, McCray, Marie Rose, DeRuel, that is the field. Ben Johnson is in three, Mark Witherspoon is in four, Lee McCray is in six, Marie Rose is in seven. No, they're going to bring him back. That was the block, Charlie. I think the starter had them go off, and probably right as he was squeezing the trigger, the buzzer went off in his ear saying someone's left, and so he actually squeezed the trigger and heard the false start sign at the same time. I thought they got off. I thought it was an even, fair start. Ooh. These blocks are set up on a standard that says no human being can react to the sound of a gun faster than 12 one thousandths of a second so that if 12 one hundredths of a second pardon me so if the athlete leaves the blocks before that it's it's a false start all right let's take a look see if we can see i don't see any and i was going back and did anybody see any Let's look again. i tell you what, let's look again. Dwight, you take lanes one and two, Frank three and four. Miss, you take five and six. I'll take seven and eight. But, you know, Charlie, it's difficult without seeing the flash of the gun. That's too. true. If all the athletes move or don't move at the same time, <laughs> it's tough to it's a decide. It's a unified false start exactly. if they all go. That's true. Ooh, Ben Johnson was out real quick. Yes. All right, let's go down to Larry Rawson. Th thank you, Charlie. I spent time with the Seiko people. They've had this equipment for three years. What it does is ensure everybody gets off to a fair start. The reason being, the activator in the back of their starting block will actually tell the starter in his earpiece if someone is trying to guess the start because it will push the block back, kick off the activator in less than 12 one-hundredths of a second. The IAAF and test has, has ascertained that it takes 12 one-hundredths of a second for the body to react to the gun. That's what happened in this race. Quickly ask Carl if he likes that equipment. What do you think? I definitely agree with it. I think that everyone's trying to get an advantage, and Ben and Lee have always been very close getting off with the gun, and um, you just want to get a quick start. Carl, tell me something. I think this guy's holding them a long time. Two to three seconds seems long on the block. This is definitely a long time. I think what's happening now is that everyone is so concerned about keeping people from false starting that they sometimes hold you too long. Right. That starter that you see right down there, we can check the monitor right here. There you see them. They're wired over to that Seiko machine. And the fastest time ever recorded out of the blocks was done last evening in the trials by Stéphane Carastin of France. He got away in 13.4 one hundredths of a second. So no one yet is within one one hundredth of that 12 barometer that they've got. And interestingly enough, Greg Foster last evening in his world record race got out of the blocks in 16.7 one hundredths of a second. So he's got a little margin of improvement, Carl. Right. I think that um, as you get relaxed and get used to a starter, especially in a big competition like this, you, it, you need a few races, and for Greg to have run a race like that with such a quick start, then I think it's going to give him an advantage today. Let's go back upstairs for the call of the race. Maybe we'll get away this time, Charlie. All right, a moment ago, they came out and marked the false start against Ben Johnson. Then there was a conference between three officials, and he stepped out and marked the false start against lane one, and that's Haas of West Germany. Charlie, there are two aspects at work here. One is the athletes trying to get what we call a roll. They're trying to sort of roll up and not be set, but still rolling when the gun goes off. That's different from false starting, which is just trying to outguess the starter and start more quickly. The first time today we saw the starter decide everyone wasn't set. Everyone was kind of, so, someone was still moving. So he just said, come up, no false start. The second time false start, now these, these runners are really tight. Johnson is in three, Witherspoon in four, McRae in six. 
He does hold him. Johnson with a good start. McCray with a dynamite shot. Here comes Ben Johnson. It's going to be Johnson and McCray Witherspoon leaning in at third. 641 unofficial. If it holds, it's a world record. He slipped all the way over the end there. He was going fast. Ben was not ready to stop after 60 plus, was he? You can tell by the determination on his face. I wanted that one and I got it. Ben Johnson still got the great start in lane three. He almost seemed to dip down a little bit, wind up and go. He had this race right from the start. Lee McRae was never in it. Ben Johnson showing why everyone watching him yesterday thought he was just going to run away with this. Great form. New world record, 6.41. And now let's watch this angle. Ben Johnson coming out. The secret here for him is he stays right in the middle of his lane. He's so strong, holds for him. Look at his head, doesn't bob. He doesn't care about anybody else. He knows he was out first. He knows he's the fastest man for 60 meters. He's just holding for him and running through. And very often when you're more relaxed that way, you'll run quicker. He was out first, so he didn't have to strain. He was able to hold his form. And that's what you call speed and momentum. And he was first <laughs> over the barrier, too. <laughs> but ben Johnson, <laughs> ben Johnson is such a formidable looking athlete you know part of sprinting is psychological and the other thing is look at him compared to the other sprinters i mean he's such an imposing looking guy he's so strong and he showed it there because that didn't affect him at all he says well uh maybe we try that again see if i can get it right this time so ben johnson unofficial has the world record in the men's 60 meters we'll be back after these messages from your local station